Welcome to Smart Work on the Robust video. Smart Work on the Robust includes widgets, and trust me, there's a lot of them, and they can speed up a workflow and work with this application a lot. So we will go through all of them, and I will show you which of them are the most used one, and you should definitely add them to your mobile screen. And if you want, you can set your widgets together with me right now. Welcome to a video about Smart One Control Plus and about widgets. A lot of applications come hand in hand with widgets and CVC Plus is one of them. And you'll see that they can be very handy and they can speed up your workflow with CVC Plus a lot. This is basically how can the widget look like. Or of course there are also smaller widgets or just these 1.1 widgets. And now we will go through all of them and for each of them I will tell you what can you use it for. Basically I have added all of them into my screen but uh, if you have Android device or iPhone and so on you just simply go to the list of your widgets it depends on your mobile phone but you click long click on your screen and you click on the plus button or add or something like that and you go to widgets here you can see the widgets uh, so the first one is for turning on the AP the second one is for adding mobile numbers to blacklist that means that you will actually block any chosen number so they cannot call you. The next one is GPS profiles. It actually turn on the location, the GPS location and switching between profiles according to it. The next one, fourth one is to set the brightness of the screen and it's very handy. So you just click on it and you can set the brightness. Let's go to next one it's call forwarding simply you click on it and it enables the click forwarding then we have headphones it simply turn on the headphones mode then the headphones mode again but this widget this small widget combines the headphones mode with the speed volume mode I will show you it later next we have presets uh, it's used for speed volume mode you click on it and you can simply go through the list of the presets like bus cycling or something like that and you can choose it right away from your screen next we have profile CVC plus uh, it's very handy you can you can just choose for example work profile you can put it on the screen and whenever you want you just click on it and the work profile is applied then we have profile CVC plus it's something like with preset but now you click on it and you can choose from the list of the of the predefined profiles like work on the way and something like that the next one is for scheduling you click on it and you can go right into scheduling and schedule the profiles for each and every day the next one is the same but you see uh, the name of the current profile right in the bottom of it. Last two small widgets are for enabling speed volume mode so it's this one and then we have synchronized calendar it's used for synchronizing on calendar so uh, the profiles will be changed according to your current calendar for example on your Gmail account on MS Outlook connected with Google Calendar and in CVC Plus you can actually very easily connect it with the calendar on the internet and the profiles will be changed according to it. I would like to say that for almost all of these features that I've talked right now uh, we have a video about it. A complete guide to all of these features. So if you don't know what is for example calendar for or the scheduling in Smart Home Control Plus, 
check our other videos we have covered it in these next one are simply combinations of these widgets so here we have for example the volume and the brightness of the screen next one is speed volume mode together with headphones then we have again presets for speed volume mode and profile so, so you can basically again choose from the list and apply it right away from your screen then we have speed with speed volume mode with uh, a small button to go into settings then we have volume CVC plus so you can basically click on it and adjust the volume immediately the next ones are more complicated but it's simply more small widgets together you know so here you have brightness volume incoming calls everything about volume and brightness here you have speed volume mode headphones mode and settings for it and this widget is for call forwarding last two ones are for volume again and is for volume but also for brightness and this one is only for volume of CVC plus and the last one is actually biggest widget of CVC plus and I will show you it right now so you can basically add it to your screen drag it and put it on your screen and then you can just use it like that you don't have to even start the application itself so here are the here are the widgets so for example if I was talking about uh, scheduling you can click on the widget for scheduling and we are immediately in timers panels where we can schedule our profiles this one is as I said for sensing our calendar this one turns on the speed volume mode and this one is again for scheduling but you can see that above it uh, in the bottom there is spare time which is the name of the actual profile this one is for GPS location as I said this one turns on headphones and I was talking about this combination between headphones mode and speed volume mode if you click on it once it turns on the headphones mode if you click again it turns off the headphones mode and it turns on the speed volume mode and if you click again it disable it here we have call forwarding so again we have a video about it uh, and if you click on this button it will automatically enable call forwarding so all of the incoming calls will be redirect to your desired number for example or secretary or something like that or even your voicemail uh, you can simply disable it how this works you can click on it this is for the speed volume mode as I said and you can choose for example cycling but you have to have speed volume mode enabled this one is for choosing and profiles so for example you can simply set your work profile it's simple as that or for example normal profile and this is the biggest one and this is for probably the most useful but of course if you need only some functions of CVC plus you can add these beautiful and simple one-to-one -one widgets if you want something more complex this one is for you so here you can click and change immediately the volume of the notification ringtone media that means music and video even arm sound system and incoming call this is again for choosing for the speed volume mode this is again to choose desired profile for sleep this one is to synchronize the calendar this one is to turn on GPS locations with this you can again turn on the headphones mode and this is for speed volume mode and this small button 
sent you to settings of the profile. Right now we've set the sleep profile and if we set for example here balanced you will see that now we can edit our balance, balanced profile and this button is again for enabling the call forwarding mode so all the calls will be redirected to your desired number and you can always edit this number or choose from the context it's very simple and easy but there is something more what if you have for example this color theme on your mobile phone and now the blue widgets aren't so perfect and you can customize it right inside the smart volume control plus so let's get into the app and go to settings and here we have color settings click on it there are several options first one is for application background you can choose for many types of backgrounds if I, if I go to back right now you'll see that the background has changed but let's say that we want to have the same color as is our color template on our mobile phone simply choose the color and the widgets will look the same as our color scheme you can also make the background transparent for me this is very amazing in here you can click so the settings you set right here will be applied to all of the widgets or you can disable it and choose from the widgets and edit them separately but I think it's better to do it for all of them let's make them transparent and you can make them white or green now you can see that the widget has the same color as our color scheme I think it looks beautiful so you can customize it and personalize your application so in this video we have covered all the widgets and the settings which you can use to customize the color and I hope that this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.